All right. Welcome, everybody, to episode 69 nice. uh, of Descent into Fernia. Uh, who would like to give the recap? Um, we were in McCormick's Folly. Or in a, sorry. <laughs> he just said that. He, just, he said that. And, and now, now, now my mind is the scramble. No, we were in... We were in uh, we were in uh, whatever the town we're in. Yeah. Bunking a place that's supposed to be chill. The, the Wandering exactly. Emporium. <clears throat> wandering Emporium. There's Calico, Wandering Emporium, the <laughs> Carmine's Folly. It's somewhere in there. <laughs> um, but we are there. Uh, and uh, it got... Uh, we, we talked about... We were going around trying to figure out like where to stay and... Uh, we talked, I don't remember if it was last session or the session before when we got the car fixed or we dropped it off at the mechanic there. Uh, no. I think it was two sessions ago. We did not have right, access right towards to the, the end. Yeah. We didn't have access to the car so last session. Um, so I remember we went to Charms and Harms um, to see if they had uh, some sort of some sort of magical items. Um, I, I forgot. We were looking <coughs> some. Someone was looking for something specific. Um, we, but the part that is, I remember the the, the clearest is that there was uh, an incursion uh, into into the Wandering Emporium, um, and we had a, a pretty large fight. Uh, we ended up fighting. Uh, Haruman. It wasn't Haruman. It was Arkham the Cruel. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but we ended up fighting Arkham the Cruel, who who had a very different looking arm. Um, I don't remember <laughs> if the players, if if our characters know, but it was it was clearly the hand of Vecna. Um, I, I don't remember if we knew that, but that's that's what it was. I think uh at least one of you were able to uh succeed on a check that was able to share that it was the hand of Vecna. I knew it was evil. And I cut yeah. that motherfucker as best as I could. Um <laughs> yeah, there was a giant uh, like the the incursion when like the fight like Wilfred was fighting a giant black dragon. Um, Wilfred ended up winning that. Um, no, not Wilfred, right? Wilfred's the, the big thing, the Duke, yeah, the robot, yeah. the automaton. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, we were on. It was um, the yeah. the Guardian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, I'm terrible with names. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, oh, we, we talked about looking like we learned were other brand or uh, uh, not brand. Um, we need some sort of nodule to go and start the fucking colossus thing. Yeah, yeah. We, we, yeah, we're looking for a docent, and uh, we learned that we need a docent to 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 which is like a consciousness of a warforge in order to like pilot the the very large <laughs> warforge colossus that we ran across many moons ago <clears throat> um so we isn't, were... gonna, isn't gonna be an easy task because there was only ever like fucking seven of them yeah <laughs> seven of the colossus at least maybe yeah. the distance are a little more i guess they're more prevalent but still I actually, I think that's we were looking for. I, I think we were looking like the root one we were looking at terms and harms was something along the lines of a docent. Um, yeah. So from what I remember, there were a couple of things that you guys were looking for from charms and harms. One was uh, a an object that could help uh, suppress the wild magic uh, storm going on within. The Warforged Colossus's engines, um, in order to activate the self repair mechanism. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ad additionally, you needed a, a a key item that would be able to 
when you possess and attune to this key item, it would register you as if you were a full-blooded member of House Caneth bearing a dragon mark. Because only a person bearing a dragon mark or one that is carrying one of these keys can pilot the the Warforged Colossus. So it requires a pilot in this fashion as well as a docent or some other kind of seed consciousness that can uh, offer the the kind of um, mental support that is needed to coordinate the movements and weapon systems of the Warforged Colossus. So you had uh, tried with Swervathan to, to see if he had anything. Uh, he did have a ring of uh, anti-magic, but it was something like 450 soul coins to purchase yeah. <clears throat> because it is quite a powerful uh, item. But So that was not really successful and and he didn't have anything in terms of the key item that you would need but he was able to give you access to his library and through that the branded one discovered a book that was written by uh somebody who is an expert in research on the magic around uh dragon marks uh and the name is somewhat familiar, but also somewhat foreign. Uh, the the author was Feanor Duvall. Um, and so uh, I think it, at least Blade and Lux had encountered Feanor um, when when you first. Uh, in, in, <coughs> yeah. The couple of times that you encountered her. Now you never were told of her last name so you know it, it may or may not be the same person but it seems like too big of a coincidence to not have some connection there what was the book on uh the book is on uh magical theory regarding uh dragon marks and the bearers that possess them gotcha Um, so there, there was that, and then there was the battle where, uh, a number of the pa patrons, uh, within the open market of the Wandering Emporium were killed and raised as undead to fight with Arkin. Um, you guys managed to stop all of them pretty effectively, although Takash, it was close uh with with <laughs> him surviving um and you were able to cut off the uh hand of vecna and uh secure it with the bag of holding to some degree i don't know if you guys were just using it to kind of hold the the hand of vecna or if you put it into the bag of holding but i was going to use it to grab arrows out of my quiver and just, just an extra like six inches to reach something. <laughs> it's one of those grabby claws. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are in the immediate aftermath of the battle. Um, people are still kind of stunned and shell shocked. Um, some of them have begun kind of gathering up the the corpses. Uh, Others seem to be crying over friends and loved ones that were lost that they may have been traveling with in the market. Uh, also, a number of patrons of the other establishments are beginning to filter out <clears throat> to, to see what, what happened and what led to all this carnage. So, I, did we ever actually figure out where master hawkins is I, I know he's not here but did anyone actually give us a oh he a legit the only thing that you know is master hawkins is away on some kind of business okay okay <clears throat> it was never specified what that business or the the nature of it was okay i 
yeah, I guess I start going around and start helping tend to the survivors, since I don't think there's any recovery of the uh, turned. <coughs> not unless you have some very high level magic. I do not. Believe it or not, I don't. <laughs> Neither do I. So, Melodia, you're tending to the wounded and and uh, I, I I guess more I guess more the living because I don't think there's much I can do to the the dead. I feel they're they're there. It's more just trying to, mm -hmm. yeah, keep the yeah. So you're doing what you can to offer comfort and support. yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, what are the rest of you doing? Uh, Blade's gonna. He's going to uh, ins start inspecting the dead bodies. Um, you know, taking note of any any uh, odd any anything that stands out, like any marks or 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 tattoos or, or something on them. Mm -hmm. um, particularly, he'd be interested in uh, uh, Arkham, Arkham the Cruel. Um, Did he have any soul coins on him? Yeah, we, we could use them. Four hundred and fifty. <laughs> yeah, sweet. Actually, I feel like if anybody would, he would, right? <laughs> <clears throat> who who has the hand? Or is it just like because uh, like it was Takash hewed hew, hewed it off, right? Right. It's in it's in the bag of holding that I have. Gotcha. Um. So, uh, Blade, as you uh look through Arkin's possessions, um, there. I mean, he he's possessing a number of items that may hold interest and could potentially be magical, uh, including his his armor, uh, his weapon. And um, you know some various bits and bobs. He is he is wearing a purse, and he has twelve soul coins within. Is his uh, is his is it a designer purse? Uh, as far as you can tell, it's it's made of the stitched together scrotums of some kind of humanoid creature mm. yes a simple yes would suffice yeah <laughs> you could tell by the seams yeah i mean he wasn't called arkin the cruel for nothing <laughs> <laughs> so you said i had 13 soul coins 12 12 uh blade will uh he will pick up the the purse and kind of jiggle jiggle the scrotum um <laughs> in front of take everybody's a, like take a little little bit <laughs> uh, i estimate 12 <laughs> uh, we've got we've got uh, we've got a little more funds to play with while we are here. I count <laughs> 12. <laughs> <laughs> Takaj is just breathing deep. Good job, buddy. You can do it. You got this. What else he's got there? Um... <clears throat> So I guess he would look at he would look at the the weapon, um, and armor. He said was was interesting. Yeah. So, uh, he had is his weapon. Uh, it appears to be a battle axe, um, and it, his armor looks like it's made from uh, the scales of uh, a dragon 
Um, but not not the any kind of dragon that you've ever seen. I mean, they're they're kind <clears throat> of black, so it, it would it's reminiscent of a black dragon. But there's a gem-like quality to the scales that that suggests something not not quite a true black dragon. Um, and then uh, yeah, those are those are the two things that really stand out in terms of his gear. He has a nice axe to go with that horse. <clears throat> uh, Takash, you look like someone who would wheel a large double-sided axe. Is it double-sided or is it single-sided? It's double-sided. <clears throat> I, I mean, theoretically, yeah, I could, but uh, how would I wield my shield? Good point. We can examine a, it. You have we'll a third arm, don't you? <laughs> well, that's what the ladies say. <laughs> <laughs> Is the branded one um, proficient with that'd be a martial weapon, right? Yeah, he's he's yeah. a sorcerer. No, oh, never mind. Definitely not. Let's we'll examine it. Maybe we could just get some more coin for them. <clears throat> I'm certain. I'm certain. Um, <clears throat> um, I am. I am sure we could. Um. So <laughs> as as you guys are kind of looking around uh, and looting Arkin's corpse. Um, Heb Smythe and Swervathan, uh, Lugin Linksplat both run out to you. They're the first ones to, to approach. And Heb, in particular, he is uh, armed and seems to be ready for battle. Uh, and, and actually, Swervathan is sparking with some arcane energy as well. Uh, seems like he is ready to fight. And uh, Heb is the first one to speak, and he says, What the hell happened here? Back off. The loot is ours. You're a bit <laughs> late, I'm afraid. <laughs> what? What is all this? Arkham Who the Cool has descended. But he is dead. Thanks to nearly Takash dying once again. <laughs> a sacrifice must be made sometimes. <laughs> It's a shame it's always my life, but so be it. Um, so uh, additionally, I forgot to mention the, the Duke is currently standing over the corpse of the dragon that he had slain and, and tossed back to the ground um, and, and seems to be just standing very still um uh and it is uh a scary sight added to the fact that he's still bearing not only new battle damage but also still the damage from the prior encounter uh with other raiders that had left him uh with one less arm <clears throat> how big is um, he again he is massive uh probably at least 20 feet tall um and uh and and that's also sort of why cuz this the archon's dragon was a black dragon and so that's that's part of the reason why you can tell the distinction between the scales of the armor that he's wearing and that of a true black dragon <clears throat> uh was there like a saddle or anything like that was there saddle bags on the dragon um, give me an investigation check. Fuck, dude, not that. I, I disadvantage because of exhaustion. Oh, boy, man. 
not like computer is not liking this right now apparently seems about right yeah you're not able to find anything that any kind of saddle or any kind of uh pack on the dragon so there is a uh, uh did some of them i for i forgot um did some of them ride a dragon down here archon uh rode or archon rode a dragon down yeah and then the gotcha. other the other creatures that you were fighting the hand of vecna uh apparently uh to unleash some magic that instantly killed many of the people in the open market uh Render, rendering their bodies into ghouls and their shadows separating from them to um, as kind of a, a sudden makeshift army. <clears throat> um, so Swervathan comes up and he says what? What was this creature's name? Does anybody know what it was that he is trying to do here? He said his name was Archon, and he was looking for a master... What was his name? Hawkins? Yes, he was looking for Master Hawkins. Apparently he had some beef with him. It was mighty bold to descend upon the Wandering Emporium. I'm telling you, Swervathan, the the heat's kicking up around here. Might be time to look for a settling somewhere else. Oh, I'm not ready to give up on Master Hawkins yet, but I think we need to learn a bit more about what this person was trying to do. Um... I I must admit I am a bit at a loss because I did not see what happened, but I could cast Speak with Dead upon this creature and see if we might be able to learn something. Uh, do, do any of you brave warriors have any suggestions about what questions we might ask? We can ask five. Does does speak with dead work on fiends? Well, since they death is something different mm, to their kind. Is this a fiend? I, Heb, Heb chimes in. He says, "It looks like a dragonborn to me." He was a fiend. I feel uh, here in this place, he would have discorporated. Completely. Perhaps, I don't know. <laughs> you guys alluded to that you guys got attacked before in the nice place. I forgot the name. <laughs> was it was it fiends that attacked you guys? The the nice hotel that you had to pay to stay in here. Oh, the uh, seven golden seals? Yeah, yeah. Was it fiends that attacked you guys or? Hmm. I think it was shadowy thingies. Oh, okay. Yeah. It wasn't specific. But this character wasn't attacked, so I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> um well, <clears throat> speak with uh very well. I'm I'm gonna take several steps back because I'm not sure how well this is gonna go. <laughs> Several um, big, yeah. big steps back. And come up with questions. You could ask what did what uh who sent it? What's their favorite color? 
Well, clearly it's black. Yes. <laughs> um. What is it you want with Mr. To, Hawkins? We should try to ask that, but try to phrase it in such a way that the answer vengeance or revenge <laughs> can, <laughs> we, can can rule that out. We should, uh, we who uh, were here during his killing uh, should probably be out of view. I don't think he would take kindly to us being here. A little Baldur's Gate action there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does anyone have a disguise? Um well if he's going to cast the spell, we just have to ask him to have have him ask the questions. So I, and then I we are was, out of you. I, I will say that the magic of speak with dead, uh it doesn't actually bring the soul of the creature back. It's only a sort of uh fragments of their previous consciousness it, it can answer questions based on its knowledge but it doesn't have a true will it doesn't have a choice in terms of whether it will answer the question so long as it has some understanding of the question and some knowledge to offer <coughs> We should ask what Master Hawkins did to earn his enmity. Because then yeah. he can't give us some bullshit answer like Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that word even means. <laughs> Casting the spell will... the. The, the knowledge uh, will be accessible for 10 minutes. So if, if anybody would like to take some time, I can cast the spell and we don't have to be completely prepared with the questions that we might ask. But perhaps some questions might be best based on the answers that this creature has to give. <laughs> that works with me. <laughs> Just thinking of the D and D movie where the uh... <laughs> but you still have a question left. <laughs> <clears throat> well, like, there's a character in Baldur's Gate that if you kill him and then cast Speak with Dead on him, he doesn't want to go away. <laughs> Nobber, great grandson of Nuber. <laughs> I don't. I haven't encountered that character yet. He's in the. He's on the bridge. <laughs> right before Baldur's Gate. Um. <clears throat> so Swarvathan, he begins summoning the magical energy, and he traces out some sigils that seem to be. Uh, the energy of the tracings remain in the air, and they begin to circle about the corpse of Arcan uh, until they s slowly lower and condense into a single beam ball of light that then enters his mouth. And then uh, Arcan's body very uh, uh, rigidly pulls up uh kind of like it being controlled by a puppet master uh and with his arms kind of akimbo and and sort of semi limp uh and though his eyes are shut uh he speak he says speak your questions What did Master Hawkins do to earn your enmity? Enmity. He is an enemy of the 
in that. What? what sorry, what did you say? Yeah. He, he is an enemy of Tiamat. Imagine most people are en enemies of her. I, I guess maybe I don't even know who that is. Religion role? <laughs> uh, or is she well known enough? No, I, this would require a religion check. Um, and anybody who is proficient in religion can attempt it. Hey. Wow, even with the disadvantage. Yeah. Um, so Takash, you would know that Tiamat is one of the demonic overlords, uh, similar to Belshalor. Um, they're somewhat, uh, they're, they're from the same kind of creature. Okay. Like the same sort of class of fiend, mm -hmm. essentially. Yeah. And Belshalor, I would imagine. <laughs> I, I maybe I've heard that name before. Them, right? Well, you would certainly know of Belshalor from the Chronicler when he right right enrolled your effort to to help the group. Right. <clears throat> so she's powerful. Okay. I sort of convey that loosely and very powerful fiend. A ruling power down here. Should we ask him about where he got his uh his arm? Yeah, that um, can't hurt. Where did you get the hand of Vecna? Gift, my loyal service. I can't hear you. Mm. <clears throat> Sorry, a gift for my loyal service to Tiamat. A kingly gift. Perhaps uh, we could see if this uh, Tiamat has any affiliation with Belshalor. See if they are working together or anything. That seems reasonable to me. Sorry, what is the question? I haven't asked the question. Okay. Uh, somebody smarter than me should ask ask the question. <laughs> yeah, someone with better charisma than me should probably ask the question too. <laughs> well, <clears throat> what what does the relationship between Tiamat and Belshalor? Tiamat will be the one free overlord. She will rip the world asunder when she is released. And she must succeed before Belshalor can be brought from his prison. Otherwise, she will remain so she is an enemy of Belshalor, or at least is uh, is not uh, allied, yeah, not allied, allied. 
Is that a question? No. It's no, more, we know the answer. It's more commentary. Okay. Rhetorical. Okay. <laughs> I, I I won't pull a D and D movie. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck. We have two questions left. This this creature had still not indicated why now he attacked if there was any reason beyond him be Master Hawkins being an enemy. Oh, my bad. Unless there's some Unless there is some, some plan that we are unaware of that Master Hawkins could be playing some part in that would uh, free Belshore. If Tiamat's looking to uh, succeed before Belshalor is freed from prison, then this creature would be looking to to stop anything that would be a danger to that. So uh Heb Smythe uh and and Swerbathan both kind of visibly bristle at the suggestion that uh, Master Hawkins is uh, in uh, cahoots with Belshalor. Uh, and uh, Heb says, don't speak about Master Hawkins like that. He saved us all hundreds of times over. Yes, just because he has earned the ire of Tiamat does not mean that he is in league with Belshalor. I did not seriously believe that he is either. I was just more so throwing out options as to postulating on, on any sort of impact there, the things we could ask for. We have two questions. Swervathan, Smythe, you surely have questions of your own. Or is there anything that you would like to ask? Or Lux? I, I suppose one question that I would posit is why this creature decided to attack now and in this manner by himself. It would seem he was not well informed. That was my estimation, at least. He attacked with the intent of fighting this master. Didn't know he was here. It wasn't even here. We could confirm, like, why we could confirm that. Or, like, why now? Maybe he got bad intel. Somebody... Or perhaps somebody was trying to get him killed. With a coin purse like that, I don't blame him. <laughs> so should should we ask then why now? It 
It is certainly something I am curious about. Oh, go ahead. Why did you attack Wandering, Empor Wandering Emporium now? I was informed that the defenses of this place would be diminished. I was sent to hurt Master Hawkins and that which he is so proud of is seven golden seals. I did not expect to encounter resistance such as you wrought upon me. <clears throat> In some ways he may be correct. With Master Hawkins gone, the defenses very well are maybe weaker than they normally are. Well, the Duke is certainly not at full capacity yet, and Wilfred is still injured from the harpoon, though his wound is healing nicely. Master Hawkins must have been on a very urgent errand for him to leave. Uh... Uh, under such circumstances. Yeah, that's gotta be it. There's no way he would abandon us. When did when did Master Hawkins leave? A few days ago. Seems yeah. like a seems like a coincidence to me. You have any method of contacting him or uh, scrying upon him? The staff at the Seven Golden Seals might have a way. Uh, I guess we can ask about that when they're coming in our room. Do, do we can we can spring for a nice room now, but I have to get comp it to be even better. And they will. We did save the place. Potentially, I mean. These two look like they were ready to wail on something evil. Perhaps we didn't need to step in at all. Of course, more probably would have died. You should really step up your speed. I may not look like it, but these old are, bones are old. My venturing days are long past. That's why I over in a smith shop with Swerve over here. Walking with a limp, I guess you got a bad knee. I took an arrow. <laughs> 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 we have one more question. Uh, is there anything related to what we're trying to get done that he might know? Maybe how to disarm some of that uh, electrical field. That's a bit of a reach. Um, well, the location of one of these. Yeah, the... the Whatever the say, word was. Yeah, I was going to say decent, but I don't think that's it. Docent. Docent, close Docent. enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I should have asked that. I mean, because we have no real leads on that right now. Hmm. Except for some person named Feanor. I'm going to send a, a message real quick just to remind something.
He would likely be aware of Tiamat's, some of Tiamat's plans. <clears throat> He might be aware of uh, Tiamat's plans, at least generally. And if there is some sort of greater conflict that we could be more abreast of as far as uh, where Tiamat may strike or uh, what to avoid, we could try to, we could try to figure out See if we can gain any information on um, his master and and where their next target may be. Yeah. Anyways, sounds, yeah, sounds good by me. <laughs> anyways, I have uh, Don, and he, he points. He taps the golden shield on his back. Don has offered to be the consciousness that we seek for the Colossus that has been purified by the uh... Coadal, yeah. Coadal, yeah. So whatever evil lived in it has been burned away by the light. Certainly handy. So, uh, what would be Tiamat's, or who would be next Tiamat's target, or, or Tiamat's next target, perhaps? When will Tiamat strike, strike next? When and where? I mean, we could potentially gain an ally, <clears throat> uh if we are able to successfully warn someone of uh, their impending doom. Yeah. That'd be good. Okay. When and where? I don't know if, like, you'll answer both, but when and where will Tiamat strike next? Tiamat's plans and machinations are of a width and depth that no mortal could comprehend. He has agents far and wide in realms beyond even this. His targets are many, and all will fall before Tiamat's yeah, will. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut this guy up. Well, that was very unhelpful. <laughs> With that, the magic ceases and the corpse falls back to the ground. And Heb Smythe proceeds to use his Morning Star to smash in the head of uh, Archon the Cruel. He was already dead, you know. Never can be too careful. Well, all I heard was that Tiamat is infallible and we can never know Tiamat's true plans. Not even Tiamat. <laughs> well, it was worth trying. Does that spell work on dragons?
the oh the the speak with dead spell um you know the one that the, the modified one that master hawkins taught you um <laughs> he's got his little dragon friend here that he rode in on well, maybe the dragon knows a little bit more it is certainly possible, although I've never tried this spell on something that wasn't humanoid. Do you have it in you, Sorbathan? <laughs> I am certainly open to try. It'd be interesting and fun to see what happens. <laughs> Can anyone speak a dragon? Uh, I I can speak to my dragon. I don't know. I I think I speak draconic. One second. Speak draconic. Yeah, that's the that's the language. <laughs> I don't have that one. <laughs> I don't either. I I actually make sure I just don't speak it to my dragon, but don't actually know it. Like <laughs> telepathically, it's all, it's all telepathic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Maybe you do. You know Draconic. I do. Okay, awesome. Oh, there it All is. Right. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's she's if this dragon is from here, granted to this icon to ride, she potentially might know Infernal as well. This I can speak. Don't worry, I have Infernal as well. Perfect. All right. I just wanted to make sure that we weren't going to ask Ruben to bring back a dragon and then realize that none of us could talk to him. <laughs> Maybe one day I will find somebody who knows Delkir. I've not been able to practice it in a long time. No, man. Not me. <laughs> I don't I know who would ask this dragon, but again, I, I... I mean, I, what I know of uh, of Tiamat's proclivity of to dragons mm. and our association with it um, is it different, or is it different here in uh, in your in Everon? So I don't know. No, no. You, wait, you, with the uh, your check, you would that would be sufficient to learn a few additional details about Tiamat. So Tiamat is said to manifest in the the traditional form of a multi-headed dragon uh there are thoughts that tiamat is actually the first daughter of kyber which is the progenitor dragon <laughs> that uh spawned all of the demonic overlords uh and so there is some thought that she may be the most powerful among the overlords, although that is a very hotly debated topic. Um, so, so those are some things that you would know based on your check. Okay. Uh, the the dragon may in fact be better informed than this archon is. Um, so, so yes. what what shall I be, be asking it? I don't know. <laughs> Swervathan casts are. the spell once more for using the tar dragon as the target. Mm -hmm. uh, the dragon, it uh, its neck cranes up and lifts the upper body off of the ground, and it stares at you uh, from above. Um, it's seeming like its its neck and head are being held up by a single string that is hold pulling it up and the rest of the body is limp. That's creepy. And much like Archon, the dragon's eyes don't actually open, but it looks ready to be asked questions and ready to respond. Well since Arkham our Arkham was uh Diamat was infallible to him. But the, he is only part he's only he's dragon born, he's not a dragon. Maybe his dragon would be able to explain that better because there is a deeper connection. 
So, oh, uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, you're worrying about Tiamat? Is that what you're about? The, when, when, and where they plan on striking next? Okay. I asked. The, I asked the uh, the dragon. Um, where where was your next target after this? Uh, in Draconic, the dragon answers, "I do not know." Sorry, is this uh, five questions again? Yeah. Okay. Did Tiamat send you? My role was to serve Archon. Uh, I, I turned to look back at the other guys. What you guys got anything else? What did he say? Um <laughs> <laughs> Just said he's, much to us. Yeah, yeah. He said he <laughs> serves Archon and uh that uh, he did not have another target as of yet. Hmm. <clears throat> so Tiamat did not send him. It seems he is not one in the know. Yeah, it's, it, it, it seems like he was uh, below Archon, at least in information, at least on this subject. Hmm. We could ask where Tiamat resides, or at least where they came from. Yeah, I, I turned to face back. Where where is Tiamat? In her eternal prison. Okay. Uh was our dragon friend here having a nice day before he arrived? <laughs> or <laughs> are are there any other are there any other group or uh agents yeah agents or assault forces out there besides you tiamat has many minions that's fair that that's yeah, a yeah. that's a valid yeah. response yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah ask it what kind of dragon are you yeah yeah what what dragon what this dragon species a... This wasn't the weird dragon art and scale. It was the armor oh. that was weird. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, okay. All right. Um, we can ask where the scales for the armor came. Yeah, yeah. Where, where uh, did, yeah, where did Archon get these unusual dragon scales from? <laughs> and if he says charms and arms. <laughs> 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 yeah. We'll be the first to know. Unless they seem to know Draconic, I don't know. <laughs> they were a gift from Tiamat. Yeah, of course. And and with that, the magic ceases, yeah. and the creature's head collapses down with a massive thud <laughs> that actually shakes the ground and causes a big dust cloud to blow up around it. I don't get I, it, I, how Tiamat could get so many give so many gifts. <laughs> when from prison. In prison. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Does the eternal prison have like a, a mailing service or something? Yeah. A lot like, of bait, a lot of baked cakes. <laughs> Commissary situation. <laughs> so she could give out to like somebody smuggle cigarettes in. So I, I, obviously I, I relay all this information to everyone, but I suppose we didn't expect to get too much from this but uh but, but it's better to, it's yeah, better to know, to know that we can yeah. do this with yeah. a dragon as well yeah well they can do it well perhaps one day somebody can do it <laughs> yes what level spell is that <laughs> what sphere what sphere of magic is that it's a necromancy spell <laughs> yeah i would like level I don't know oh. if paladins get that level, get that <laughs> tier. What tier of magic is this? <laughs> that's why. That's why I referenced spheres. I, I just if you were to quantify this in a number of levels, <laughs> what would this be? On a zero, on a scale of one to nine. <laughs> well, 
Well, this is not a, a novice spell. It does require a certain amount of training and experience. Certainly nothing like a, a regular cantrip or, uh, or the ma- such. Um, it's a third level spell, though. <laughs> Got it. I was just checking to see if I, I could prepare that spell. I didn't have it in my list, so I can't do it. <clears throat> well, I am bushed. Yes, I, I think we uh, we should get our free rooms at the uh, Seven Golden Seals. <laughs> I, I've... I, something tells me that only this Master Hawkins has the uh, power to grant that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't actually know. I've never been inside, so. I don't know. I mean, Just I think if we drag here. this corpse in here, I mean, we might. <laughs> this, when they ask for the soul coin, it's like, take this. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hey, do you uh, know any other necromantic spells? Can we uh, make this thing walk again and bring it inside? <laughs> um, I am not that well versed in necromancy. That's okay. That's probably for the best. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> if only we could take the slain enemies who have that are slain foes and then turn them into slow coins. <laughs> Well, so I'm just going to, like, grab Archon by the scruff and drag him towards the large tent. Okay. So let us, uh, let us see if we can go do this. It, it, it requires a bit of effort, given your levels of exhaustion, but you are able to eventually get it done. Blade can help push. <laughs> grab, grab the feet, would you? He's got like a, he's have a, he, that's his dump strength is his dump stat. So he can't help very much, but, but he can like, he's holding up a hand. I got this. I'm, I'm helping. I'm helping. <laughs> you see the the videos of the people like carrying something really large. And there's like one guy, like ah, I'm, I'm helping, like not even have, actually touching, just like darting yeah. back and forth. <laughs> I'm here for emotional support. Yeah, I'll, Pants home will help you. Back Great. Support. Great at looking like he he's helping. <laughs> <laughs> Roll of performance. Yeah, pretty much. Uh all right, so you drag his body out to the uh entrance of the seven golden seals. Yeah. Go yeah, and go inside. Okay. Uh so as you pass through, you notice instantly the temperature changes to be much more comfortable. Um, and the air smells sweet of uh, fragrant fruits and uh, and also savory dishes and spices that just waft throughout the air. Um, at the, uh, the desk in front you see uh an attendant look up at you eyes wide and say no 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 what what are you doing what are you bringing in here uh, proof of a deed i were you aware of a, an assault outside uh, yeah we we locked this place down but after you guys dealt with it we we opened back up but uh, oh, you, there, oh so no... you were aware of our part in it? Okay, good. There, there, there's. I'll drag this back outside. Please, please. <laughs> we, we we don't want to disturb the guests. The guests have never seen a dead body here. It's it's not about if they've seen a dead body or not. It's about making sure that it's under the right circumstances. <laughs> I mean, you could you could take this. And impale it as a deterrent, 
for those who would seek to harm the seven golden seals. If that's what Pastor Hawkins wishes, then that is what will be done. But that is not something that we are prepared to discuss. What 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 do you guys need? What what can I help you with? I was led to believe that this is a safe place to be, and yet we were assaulted right out in the streets. Well, the the seven golden seals exists within a, a demiplane separate from the actual area that it it's within in the wandering emporium. So Master Hawkins's wards are typically sufficient to prevent any hostile actions within this place. Outside of here is a different story. Ah, so he doesn't care about what happens outside. That's not true. He cares very much about what happens outside. It's just that there's particular security needs that need to be addressed within this particular area. Why is that? Because of the nature of the clientele that we serve. Okay, there are many I... that require a very, very special but, care. And, I, and I, I'm sorry, did you drag Archon in or the dragon? In? <laughs> I, I don't think I could drag the dragon. Okay, in. I, I, I figured. Um, <laughs> I, I said, well, well, we. I suppose stopped... I could have lopped off his head and yeah. <laughs> We stopped, in. Uh, we stopped him, gesturing at the Archon, directly from um, seizing or destroying this place outright. Because as far as we know, Master Hawkins is not here, at least currently. No, he is out on business. Yes, I, I, and, and rightfully so. Um, I, but we, we, have, we're not... we have sent messages to make him aware of the situation. Good, good. I, I know, I, and we're not, like, it's just, we want to make sure that you are aware that the defenses are not they had intel that he would be gone and you were attacked. Luckily, we were here. Yeah, and also, we are very tired. Yes, that too. Uh -huh. um, from That's saving right. the seven gold. <laughs> and so, like, we would like to stay for the evening in exchange for. Uh, this dead assailant. Uh, I'm sorry, but Master Hawkins is the only one that can decide about comping rooms and services. Uh, you're you're welcome to wait for him. Uh, if if it is something that he deems uh, appropriate, uh, mm -hmm. if he were to put down payment for any stay and services that you wanted, it's quite possible that Master Hawkins might refund it completely. But uh, he is the only one that can make those decisions here. Well, I suppose we could get a uh, good get maybe reimbursed. I'm, I'm just thinking of Ghostbusters now. Like, oh, I can just bring it back inside. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! Please don't, don't do that. <laughs> Sure. Wait, what? I, I is there a couch or something like a like a waiting room <laughs> that you can bleed on? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean you're you're basically in it right now. There there's some comfortable seating. Uh yeah, I'll just sit. Fine sprawl. It's nice in here. Well, you, you are certainly welcome to wait there for Master Hawkins if you wish. Oh, don't worry. I can sleep anywhere. All right. It's highly unorthodox, but I'm, I suppose these circumstances are <laughs> not normal. Just make sure you prop up, yeah. uh, prop up the body, uh, just so <laughs> you cuddle him. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking caved in head. <laughs> wait, wait, do you still have him in? No. no. Okay. 
I put them right outside the door, though. Okay, that's just pr propping the door open. The... <laughs> yeah, he's holding the door open for us. <laughs> the attendant is fine with that as long as he's outside. <laughs> This has got him leaning right up against the door. Look, we could. I think it is it is a fairly safe bet that Master Hawkins would be very appreciative of our efforts here, and the reimbursement would be would be on the table at least. Now we did uh, we did have a sudden influx. Uh, that we could use so we don't have to sit on the couch unless we're trying to make a point we could have a nice room how much is the room here again one soul coin per person I imagine Takash goes to sleep very quickly he's just a quick quick sleeper like ow uh, I, I also should specify it's one soul coin per person per night. But well, we just don't know when he's going to come back. Uh, the attendant says we have sent messages. Uh, he is yet to respond, but I'm sure as soon as he is available, he will be making utmost haste to come and address the situation. Where's Lulu? Uh, so you could, you, you before you entered, you did see Lulu in uh in their apothecary kind of looking out the window and like shaking. All right, I'm going to go find Lulu. Okay. Um <clears throat> All right, so Lux leaves the seven golden seals and uh you enter Lulu's apothecary uh and they go, "Ow!" Oh! Hello, it's good to see you. Uh, how, how are you doing, Lux? I have some demon ichor for you. You do? Oh boy, I love demon ichor, but you know, I you gotta be careful with it because it took my eyes. But it's so good. So many things can be made from demon ichor. So how how much do you have? Uh, I forget how much I collected. Probably a bottle or two. I don't know. A vial or two. Let's see. I think I have uh, an exchange rate of what Lulu would offer. Uh, so, ah, you, you have to, some good stuff, it looks like, in here. So, uh, I can give you, uh, <clears throat> consider, and, and also, I saw what you guys did out there. It was so good, so brave what you guys did with all those scary little uh, uh, ghouls and, and shadows all over the place. And and then also with that big guy with the with the dragon? What? Get out of here. And you guys took him out like you nothing. So uh, I, 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 for, for all of that plus this demon echo, I can give you uh, 500 gold pieces. It's a lot more than I normally get for this amount, but I mean, considering the circumstances and all, you guys pretty much saved my balls. <laughs> considering what we found you you should really be thankful oh and what did you find you don't want to know <laughs> <laughs> oh okay so uh here here is a here is a gold piece and um 
Hey, Cho. What's new? So, uh, what do you know? What do you know about uh, artifacts or magic items or things like that? Or, or... Uh, I know a little bit. Uh, mostly, a uh, good person to talk about that with would be Twitter fan. But uh, if if you can't find Twitter fan right now, I, I suppose I have some uh, knowledge of artifacts. Not much though. Mostly, I have lots of knowledge about drugs. Love drugs. They, they make you so feel so good and and you get such a nice warm feeling inside it really ble breaks up the bleakness of this place okay what was the question uh yeah just don't hurt yourself with that uh, demon I care. oh I I won't. I learned my lesson because after all, it it took my eyes. Yeah. All right, I'll leave. Uh, what? Uh, wait, didn't didn't you have a question? You asked me something. Didn't you you want you want to just hang out? Uh, what can you tell me about the hand of Vecna? Oh, the hand of Vecna. That sounds impressive. Ah, uh, let me see. Uh, uh, eh. well, I heard, I, I, I think it came from a very powerful witch. Uh, uh, with, 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 in case you're not aware, that's a very powerful type of undead wizard. Or sorcerer, yeah, magic user in general, really. But uh, <clears throat> that 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 is the hand of Vecna. Is 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 literal hand of Vecna. So that that's that's something. Um, I I know that with artifacts, sometimes they can have curses that are real bad. You don't want to get cursed by an artifact. But if if it's not uh something too bad usually it has some kind of influence over the person that wields it uh not always though i guess it depends on the artifact but that that's kind of what i know okay so yeah mm -hmm. no. Yep. So how are things? Okay. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. Hey, would you like to do some drugs? Hmm. What do you got? Ah, I got some real good stuff. Let's see here. I got, I got some uh, whisper tears. Oh. That that really hits you hard. What what that does is it it makes you hear these really beautiful whispers, and 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 they 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 just put you to, into such a good slumber, the best sleep you'll ever get. I swear. Only a little bit of a side effect with a headache that comes afterwards, but it's not too bad. Uh, and then let's see, we got some uh uh lingua sutra which which is kind of like a a, a a weird uh thing that you you put on your tongue and and it starts to make it look feel all all tingly and it, the tingle goes down all into your body and then it's like feeling like oh so much orgasm it's just so good uh, would you like any of that no i'm good yeah, let me see. Um, like Lux is like looking at the. Oh, it looks like Swervathan's back. Let me go talk to him for a minute. Oh, tell him I say hi. And oh, also, he he got a, he borrowed my book before, and he never really brought it back. And that made me a little sad that he did that. But I suppose I understand. I'm mean, telling people they did so don't really have any decorum. So. Okay, I'll ask about the book. Thanks. I don't know if he's back, but I'm going to go look for him. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I love Lulu. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> um, so, uh, Swervathan is back at the Charms and Harms. Uh, but so if you wanted to talk to him, you could find him there. Okay, I'll go there. <clears throat> Oh, hi, Lux. Is there something that I can help you with? You got, uh, <coughs> did you borrow a book from Lulu? <laughs> you haven't returned it? No. Okay. Why would uh, I get a book from Lulu? I don't know. That's what you told me. He is a very strange creature. Very hard to understand. So I couldn't happen to I couldn't help but notice that uh, when we were speaking with the the um, uh, Archon the scrotum there uh, that uh, you, we mentioned something about the hand of Vecna but uh, you didn't seem to blink an eye what what uh, what can you tell me about it. Wait, were you being serious about the Hand of Vecna? Maybe. Well, the Hand of Vecna is a very powerful artifact. It was harvested from the hand of a... A, a Vecna? Lich. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we, we <laughs> got, yeah, I got that. We figured that one out. <laughs> yes, well, uh, not much is known about Vecna or their machinations all that is known is that uh the 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 depths of his viciousness have been lost to time largely but with regards to the actual hand of vecna uh there are many theories very little has actually been done because it is something that you don't really get a chance to study uh since it's never been found as far as i can tell but but many of the stories and myths around this vecna indicated that it gives the wearer some degree of control over undead and and has some abilities to grant the user some modicum of the the spell casting potential of vecna themselves uh but of course, when it comes to artifacts, you always have a price that is meant to be paid. Sometimes the price is quite reasonable, but others it's, well, it could be quite devastating if you aren't prepared to pay it. Um, because of the nature of the Hand of Vecna, there is some belief that it actually possesses a fragment of their essence and it over time it has the possibility of corrupting the person that wields it now whether it actually usurps the person's will or simply causes them to be a bit more similar Frankie in their to old age Sure, we'll go with that. Um, it's not really known the degree of of such a thing. Do you think that Tiamat can uh, would be able to trace it back or find it? Tiamat is a thought to be a very powerful demon overlord uh, there the power of the demon overlords are is is quite limited although they do have the ability to exert their influence over those within proximity to the prison oftentimes with creatures such as tiamat they have proxies that act as their sort of well, they're they're called proctus, and they they are the ones that are really leading the charge when it comes to disseminating information amongst their minions and engaging in the machinations to try and free themselves. So, 
given that it is possible that Tiamat may be able to track the hand of Vecna, but it is also just as likely that Tiamat would be able to track other things that are not necessarily related. The, the extent of the power of a demon overlord is not really well understood while they are within their, their prisons. Um, so much more is uh, based on the power and the, the numbers of the people that are being influenced by them. Oh. You okay. seem troubled, Lux. Uh, just wondering if, uh, you know, if this item, uh, it calls to people and they'll just come looking for it. It's certainly possible, but with the hand of Vecna, if it's calling to a person, it is probably someone or something that is aligned to the will of Vecna. Uh, so artifacts Ooh. are quite capable of choosing who it is that they wish to be possessed by oftentimes like i said because it is within the will of the creator of the artifact but there is much that is just can't be known when it comes to the magics of such powerful creations very Interesting. So this is the person that has the magic item, right? The other person is the harms, has the weapons. Yeah. That's Heb Smythe. He's the, the blacksmith. Okay. So I will say, well, thank you. Uh, I'm just going to go over to the harm section there for... Oh, sure. If there's anything else that you need, please let me know. Okay. And so. you you cross the beaded door barrier into the harm section, um, okay. where you hear Heb pounding away at metal. Um, it takes him a moment to see that you're there, uh, but when he does, he immediately stops and he pulls off his goggles, um and says, oh, hey, Lux, um, what can I do for you? I'm looking for something uh, really, really sharp. Well, you've come to the right place. Uh, you know, like, like a meat cleaver? Yeah, I got something along that line. Um... Are you are you wanting something magical or more mundane? You got anything? Oh, you have a magic meat cleaver. <laughs> uh, you would be surprised the kinds of things that come out of this mind. Yeah, but I'm in hell, so I'm, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, what's an enchanted meat cleaver going to run? <clears throat> Cauterizes as it slices. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, considering you and your friends saved our bacon and how kind you were in helping Wilfred, um, I could just give it to you and call it even, but don't you dare tell anybody I did it. 
you paid top dollar for it, and yeah. that's what you got to say. Because I people start hearing about me giving discounts and freebies, that's gonna everything's gonna fall apart. Yeah, fingers crossed. All right. So he goes in the back and he's shuffling around and, and he comes out with uh, a very hefty meat cliver. Uh, and he says, this, uh, this has been enchanted to make incredibly fine cuts with ease. So be very careful with it. It, it it can it can do some damage if you're not prepared. Okay, I'm I pick it up. Is it uh, how heavy is it? Um, you know it's it's not it's not so heavy that it's like unwieldy, but for a meat cleaver, it's pretty significant. It's like three four pounds. Well, I'm not very strong. Well, I mean, I've got good deck, so I get it, no. Any weapon is sort of a monk weapon, isn't it? Right? Uh, no, is that how? That uh, works? I mean, any any simple weapon can be a monk so weapon. Is this and, well? Like, is this a simple I would, weapon? I, I would say a cleaver is a simple weapon. Okay. Okay. And um, have goes through the enchantment. It's a, essentially a keen meat cleaver so it deals a critical on a 19 or a 20 and it's also a plus one magic weapon Anything else that you're needing? No. I think I'm good. I appreciate it. It was quite, it was, it was, I paid a lot for this. I appreciate it. That's what I would like to hear. Um, and then, uh, if, uh, that ends your conversation. He's just gonna brusquely go back to pounding yeah. the the metal. All right. All right. I will leave. All right. So while Lux has been doing that, what have the rest of you been doing? Uh, Blade has just been. I guess watching take off, uh, take off snore uh, for a little bit. Um, uh, watching Takash snore. Uh, yeah, I'm out. After, yeah, it, go ahead. <laughs> I'd say a little after a while, he would he would just like look over to Melodia and be like, "So, should we just go inside?" I mean, I yeah, I'm not beaten up as bad as he is, but I'm I'm not doing great either. So nice, nice rest does sound pretty good to me right now. So I've never been in here, so I'm I'm fine with that we split these uh, soul coins, and I'm fine with spending one of mine in here. What what was the what was the cost of the uh, to fix the? I, I I know we're per, sort of past the expedition of the. Uh, it was like five soul coins. Last God, I want to say was... I want to say rudder axle. Yeah, it's not a rudder; yeah. it's an axle. Um, it, was... it was five and a half, wasn't it? No. Well, you had five and a half. It was five, five soul right. coins to repair it in a way that took a long while, uh, and it would have been ten to expedite it. Okay. So you you, I think you guys have. Uh, I think it's like day two ish, three, two and a half. Yeah, I just don't recall if you guys paid ahead or not. I don't think we did. I, I don't. Or maybe we did. Long, I don't remember long resting. Yeah. <laughs> At any point, maybe we did once. 
in the other bar place, maybe. We might have rested there once, now that I think about it. You guys were, I, I think you were talking about whether to wind down uh, at the, e the, the random inn. Yeah, or... so we were going to use, uh, I was going to use an action point to turn Pantone into a uh, AC unit, essentially. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, right. and then we were gonna get we were basically getting nightcap drinks, nightcap drinks, and then that's when we got attacked. I think because I, that's why I mean you were on the way other side of the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... We were, yeah, we were. It wasn't quite time for us to to actually wind down. Yeah, so we were doing a little walking around the the the, the village here. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think the branded one was just like in the in the fountain. Yep. <laughs> that makes sense. That's why I had in my notes that Blade or Blade convinced Melodia to go get more grease. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were we were greasing up. Yep. The fight. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so uh I mean it, to me it it defeats the purpose of uh expediting at this point. So well, we have seven and a half coins to spare, essentially. Yeah. So. I mean, we have, we have coins on, we had. Oh yeah. Yeah. We have some on us too. Yeah. So, this is, right, so you have a total of 19 and a half. A 19 and a half. Okay. Yeah. Or so, wait a minute. 17 and a half. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So I will. Uh... Still no reason to expedite it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Blade will pull out of the of the coin sack, um, one, two, uh, soul coin. Or he'll pull out three, one, and he'll give the Melodia. <clears throat> um, and one he's gonna give to Dakash, but he'll like, to like find some sort of pocket on him, um, that he would like kind of. That he would he would check, presumably. I don't know. It does, might have his, he might have his creepy eye running around. I don't know. Does does Takash have yeah. Takash have like a a satchel or or some place where he usually stores stuff on his person? Yeah, I mean, I would have bags and whatnot. Well, I guess the my like primary pack would be on the on the demon grinder, but yeah, I guess I would have some sort of coin purse. And yeah, you're right. The the eye would probably be out, uh, uh, and you know, keeping an eye out, if you will, <laughs> quite literally. literally. <laughs> I so I mean, the the eye would see you probably. Oh, okay. Sort of thing like the scene from Jurassic Park. You're waving the thing in front of it, and then you just like sort of put it like right down, like right into his pocket. Actually, we could just we could just not to deal with it and just cover his cover his room and when he wakes up, uh, yeah, 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 they can let him know that he's been taken care of. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to check something. I, presumably, the eye could technically hear, just like magically, <laughs> so it would be able to. Uh, yeah, understand you at least if you spoke to it. I don't know. I don't know if Blade would like. It would occur to Blade to speak to the eye. Yeah, sure. and I would. I would only speak and, to comment that, to it. And that's fine because yeah, I mean, even if, if <laughs> as as long as you were like discussing this, it could it would yeah. be there then hear you and see you. Yeah, he wouldn't like be talking to it, but like definitely it wouldn't be like. Right to like not to like be discreet avoid, about it, like yeah, yeah, dis yeah, to avoid mentioning <laughs> things around this weird eye that keeps following us. <laughs> I just is this I, the first time we've seen this eye? No, the second time. Was, yeah, it was in the, the second time. I, I yeah. there's in the demon grinder. Rest, yeah, anytime I would rest, I would have it out. Basically, it's like a fuzzy eyeball with legs that runs around. Gotcha. Not, it's not fuzzy, but. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I mean, it, it would that, like you would see it just like crawl up onto my face and like open up my eye, 
and see the empty socket and crawl in. And I was sort of wake up. What's up? Uh, we're just going to get the room. <laughs> oh, sure. I mean. Yeah. Hey, I, we've got, we, you know, what we picked up today is uh, more than enough to at least have this. Should we go find Lux too? Do they have a spa here? <laughs> they do have a spa. It costs <laughs> extra. Uh, of course. Of course it does. Well, maybe fingers crossed, yes, that we get that. Uh, maybe we can get that too. We should go find Lux. Um, before we go in. Yes, yeah. Actually, about that, um, and he kind of motions you and starts speaking in soft tones. <laughs> I was... Uh, you remember Dawn Shield? Yes. Dawn has mentioned that some very... passed on a very disturbing rumor. Mm-hmm that uh, Lux intends to take the hand of Vecna for herself. That is very troubling. I unaware of its power. I know it by name and reputation alone. And I know to steer clear from it. So it is... we should uh, consult maybe the branded one and Heal myself a little bit. Oh, okay. And and see, uh, or maybe try to get more information. And in... how is uh, Dawn able to know these things? Dawn has Dawn has some capability to both in the. Don has some capability in the emo- in ascertaining emotional states and intelligence. Okay. People. Less talk, more finding. Let's go. Yes, I will. I will. I will think on this. And but but I will. Yes, thank thank you, you for. Yeah. If you see anything strange, uh, that would. Would that would. Uh, if I see something, I will say something. Yeah. Be aware of something that uh, any any sort of plan to remove an arm. Yes. All right. So Lux, after you're done at harms, what do you do or where do you go? Um. Uh, isn't there a library somewhere around here? There is in the basement of the charms. Okay, yeah, uh, I'll walk back in there and go back down to the library. Okay. Um, so Swervathan would have no problem with you going down there. Uh, and he would just let you know if you need any help finding anything, just let him know. Um, so you are apparently alone in the library. I don't think he would appreciate you getting blood all over his books. <laughs> uh, I am going to... I'm looking for anything about the hand of Vecna in the library. Okay. Give me an investigation check. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, ten. So he doesn't have anything specifically on the hand of Vecna, but he does have more general books on the nature of artifacts and theories of crafting them. Okay, I'm looking for uh, yeah. So I'm just curious if I find any stories or anything or any like anecdotes about Vecna's hand or uh, and I'm guessing I don't find anything there. Yeah, with with the books and the artifacts, most of the artifacts that are mentioned either come from the the Age of Dragons 
when they ruled much of the world uh or the the um the 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 kingdom of the giants which um thousands of years ago suffered a cataclysmic end that resulted in the entire destruction of the continent of Zendrik. Um, but they were known for creating items of incredible power uh, and, and multiple different kinds of artifacts. So most of the theory and everything is specific to those kinds of artifacts. <clears throat> One thing that you do find, which is interesting, is a little footnote in one of the books. And in that footnote, it says some person whose name is not really consequential uh, had found a tome previously indicating that Vecna may have actually been a dragon. But the footnote goes on to say that it's it's complete nonsense. That hmm. that something like that would be. So, oh. um, Blade, Takash, and Melodia, where are you guys starting to look for Lux? I, did Lux tell us where movie. she was going? Or did she just, just go off? I think she just left, yeah. Mm -hmm. Left, uh, saw the demon Ecker, but we didn't really know that. I would just start asking around. Yeah. I'm assuming so, there's still a lot of people congregating outside. Yeah, so they would say they would point you in the direction of Lulu's apothecary. <laughs> when they when that that would when when they would point to Lulu's blade would be like, well, maybe she's the one. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, <clears throat> uh, let, let's let's go, or I'll at least go in. Oh. We'll hang his head and go in. Well, oh, hi. Uh, I'm Blade. I know you, but the other guy, I don't know. But hi, I'm Lulu. I'm below you. Nice to meet be you. Careful, be careful with Demon Ecker because he can do <clears throat> things to your body. Like you took my eyes. Oh, my, that's that's horrible. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad, but you know we're, we're hoping you can help us. We're we're looking for our friend Lux. Yes, oh. nice seen her. Oh, Lux! Oh, me me and me and Lux had a great time. I I offered to do drugs with her. She didn't really want to do it after she asked about it. But I was like, but it's drugs. Why wouldn't you want to do drugs? But she just was like, eh, I don't want to do it anymore. So I gave her money for the demon maker that she brought me. And then and then just, we, we had a nice little conversation. We talked about a whole bunch of things. And I think she might be my best friend now. And so, uh, but th then afterwards, she said that she would help me get a book back from Sword of Fan, who he, 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 he's taken my book. left. Takash left. <laughs> <laughs> Off to swear with hands. <laughs> oh, but wait, it... wait, I'm not done. Well, thank you for your help. Wait, sorry, we need to find our friend. We'll be back before we go, I promise. When you can you can finish your story and we'll get we'll we'll have some drugs. Oh boy, I can't wait. <laughs> Come back soon. Yep. But, we will. But, and we... but be careful. Bye. Don't 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 let what happen to you happen to me. Well, I got my eyes. We will not. Goodbye, Lou. <laughs>
If if only I I, I could <laughs> if I if I hadn't left, I'd have taken my eye out for him. <laughs> <laughs> on our way to swear, on our way to charms and harms, Blade would be like, "But it is odd." Uh, Lux is not one to turn down a, a drug session. I, I haven't seen her do any since I've joined this party. Yeah, I tried to, try to remember back. I can't say I have either. I'll, I'll take your word on that. Which is interesting because typically those who have experienced the most lost loss uh turn to drugs the the most common <clears throat> she has uh done the opposite which good for her he just kind of looks at you um ah, drugs are poison they will hurt you clearly right I suppose. I, I mean, not, with, not that you would know. I suppose. Yeah, it's not like you can take them. No. <laughs> Why you do? Let's go to the store. Let's go to Swervathans. Oh, we'll yeah, we'll, I'm, deal, I'm we'll deal with this later. I'm walking yes. and talking. <laughs> All right. And so, Lux, uh, you've you've had some time to peruse around the books. What what are you doing now? Uh, I'm sure, like every library has like a section in it, or like like a place probably right when you walk in there's a box of books they're just giving away because they don't want them in here anymore and i'm gonna grab one if there's more than one i'll grab two okay you can grab two okay and i'll walk out back upstairs okay did you find everything that you need um yeah uh yeah i might be back later very well well you know where to find us if you need any additional assistance or need to do any further research all right and i will have to... <clears throat> all right so as you walk out you see uh, Takash, Blade, and Melodia uh, actually heading towards the Charms and Harms. Hey, we found you. We, uh, we're getting uh, some rooms at the uh, Seven Golden, or the Golden Gates. Seven, seven Gold, Gold seven. Seals. 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 Seals, yeah. Kind of pricey. We have the coin. We need to heal. I, as as long as Master Hawkins is gone, we don't know how long we're in beer for several more days, and I think we need it. It is we it, we we think that the uh, it is reasonable that uh, when he returns, he will reimburse us for the the rooms in exchange for the body of uh, Arkham the Cruel. Yeah, I don't know when he's gonna come back. Well, I've got to go give Lulu her books back. Well, uh, do you want us to come with or do you want um, this uh, you want us just do you want us to meet us at the Seven Golden Seals? Well, it's up to you. Takash will look at both, both these two and like, what is your intent with the arm? <laughs> He's not gonna beat around no bush. It's like, what is your intent? To use it. Uh, then it would be a poor decision. Uh, probably for me, maybe. But uh, we need to find out. We are in hell. It, which seems like an even worse location to do this. It seems like the appropriate place to be using. I I say we should try and destroy it. No, we should not destroy it. We need all the help we can get. We we have we. Pos have you seen who we have had to fight and we seem to lose every single time? What do you mean? We won. Okay. Once. But you're still alive? How long have you been here? 
too long. I that I'm sure that does feel the case. These are not the times to turn to such dire measures. We are still alive, and we will have plenty of chance to rest here. Uh, yeah, and resting isn't going to help us that much. <laughs> it will give us strength to fight another day. I cannot allow you to make this sacrifice. I have lost an eye already. I will lose an arm. You'll lose I an also, arm? I also don't wish to do this. You're not losing an arm. I am. And I, it's a hand. I, it's not a whole arm. It, it's most of the arm. It's not the arm of Vecna. It's the hand. It's most of the hand and the arm. <laughs> At least part of the forearm. And again, I cannot allow you to make this sacrifice. You have lost too much. Do not lose an arm, too. Look, nobody's going to be cutting off anyone's arms or their own arms here. Like, <laughs> there are... We aren't at the point where... We need to sacrifice both body and mind this this quickly. There is still time to make such decisions. Uh, there is, I mean, there's sure, sure there's time. Look at this. Look at where we are. Yeah, all things considered, this place is rather nice. Right. You can't stay here, though. And nor do I intend to. I mean, I guess you could, uh, but this, still, this place isn't safe either. Look what just happened. Besides, how impressive could this artifact be? We defeated this slub, and he was using it. He was by himself. I mean, he did, he did kill a bunch of villagers, or a bunch of the, the, the people, and raised their bodies as... <clears throat> As enemies. That man, if you could call him that anymore, became became too bold. Let us not do the same. <clears throat> as a person who is a fan of boldness, there is a time and a place. And a degree of which one should be bold. To lop one's own hand off. That is not the time. We are not there. Look, oh, I think we're past there. We have goals. If perhaps if we were completely without any method for defending ourselves or a way know. of and getting what is to our what is our plan exactly? I would like to know. Me yeah. too, and I'll just look the blade. <laughs> the I'm plan, not smart enough to make a plan. The plan is to get on to is to get to the Colossus and revive it, so that we can ride it right into. Um, I forgot what it's called. The um flame keep, flame keep. Yeah, that's it. The place the place that we cannot penetrate without more firepower. <laughs> flame keep, and then who do we have to fight there? I'm sure some guardian of some kind, but we will have Colossus at our side. Uh huh. There will be plenty of time on the Colossus ride, Lux. If you want to cut off and graft this arm to you. There's that matter too. You have to, you'd have to reassemble it. But uh, are you able to sew it back on by yourself? It will fix itself. I doubt it. I doubt it would be that simple. A, an item that was so purely saturated with necromantic energy. It would require a further sacrifice. 
Sure, they would force you to sew it back on. No, I think it will affix itself. Well, I'll get a needle and thread if I have to. Lux, I have I have grown fond of you. Uh and it would be I just don't want to lose you while you're still alive. It's one thing to lose someone when they die, but it's another one another thing to lose someone who is still living. It is much easier to deal with someone when they have, they are, are gone from this world. Not when they're, but it is much harder when their person is gone, but they are still here. I am worried that such such powerful artifact would take your mind. That it would you would no longer be the chain smoking lux that we all love. Yeah, but I know the ways of death. But then do not let it consume you. I do not intend to. I have two hustle points. I wish to use them. <laughs> <laughs> Action points. <laughs> if you would if you are going to make such a sacrifice, at least do it on the eve of the final battle. Why not do it sooner? Then I can understand its powers as opposed to just getting it and then who knows what will happen. Then if I can find it's I'm completely ineffective, then you just lop it right back off again and we'll get rid of it. If you're so certain that it would graft itself to you, surely it would impart what it's capable of at the same time. Yes, but it may take a couple sessions or two to figure out its full abilities. Not with those awesome points. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you are in control of your own life. But my concern stands. It's noted. So, to Lulu's. Yes, go to Lulu's. She offered drugs? Oh, she always does. <laughs> I wouldn't mind some drugs. She might have grease. Uh, All right, so yeah. you guys head over to Lulu's, and who walks in first? Oh, I'm following. I am in the back. <laughs> I'll walk Keep in. Keep an eye on Lux. Lux, you return. Oh, I'm so glad. Are you? Uh, did you come back to do some drugs with me? No, I, I brought you. I brought you not one but two books back. You brought me my books. Oh, yeah. you're so awesome. You're 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 my best friend, Lux. You really are. You you do so much nice things for me. I I just wish you would drink drugs with <clears> me, because that would make us real good buddies. I'll think on that. Oh, please do. Please think about it a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And come back and do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are things? Good. Takash just couldn't stop talking about how much he enjoyed your uh, the time with you. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I don't know your name, but... If that your name is Takash, then we should do some drugs together. I have certainly never been here before in my life. 
You were just here. I just saw you. I just don't know who you are. How, how can you see without poor, eyes? Poor memory. Well, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> I did. I I did. Was in some demon ichor, and they melted out my face, and then I still could see. So but I sort of like, it's, like it's weird. Like with my other, hand. <laughs> obviously, his other senses have taken over. I I, I can't. How many I, fingers I, am I holding up? You you wait. Yeah, uh, two. I think. I, <laughs> one, two. Yeah, two. And and yeah, my eyes. They're not here. See, and then he. He puts his fingers into his empty eye sockets. <laughs> They're not there. They're gone. They melted out my face. Prakash can take out his eye. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. It's, it's very weird. Let me I, see. I, it still is unsettling, Prakash. I, I have to tell you. Uh, I So I, I have it like start crawling out of my face. <gasps> and oh, I, that's I, so cool. I put it on my hand and then I let it crawl onto Lux's shoulder. Oh my gosh! That, uh, that's an eye! And it's crawling! What? Can I have it? No. He's a friend. Aww. He's my friend. He has a mind of his own. Well, you can share, can't you? I mean, we're, we're buds, right? You gotta come do some drugs with me. I, I, I'm afraid they will not work on me. What about Why the wouldn't eye? they work on you? Uh, my body is pure. What's well, so these drugs? <laughs> <laughs> pure angel dust. <laughs> well, surely Takash will tell you where he got his eyes, so you can you, maybe you can get one. Oh, I would love to get an eye, but if I if I could get eyes, my life would be so much better, and the drugs would be so much better, because then I could actually see all of the things that go on. I mean, I can still see, but it's not quite the same as before when I had my eyes, because Damien Ecker melted out of my face. So, you, you, where, 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 where did you get your eye? I would like an eye like that. Can I have it? I found it, uh, but no, you cannot have it. Uh, again, he is a friend of mine. He travels with me. But I'll give you drugs for the eye. I I do not wish to consume your drugs. Oh, you're one of those straight edge characters. <laughs> sure. If you like. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of people like that, but I understand. I mean, drugs aren't for everybody. Sometimes it's just too much. I mean, I, I, I took some Dimitri and my eyes melted out my face. So there's that. Yeah. Well, uh, that's describe how do that's what exactly do you see? Uh, whenever do you can you see color? Well, I smell color. Okay, and I taste feelings. <laughs> <laughs> There's a word for that. Uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> With my eight intelligence. <laughs> oh, you're thinking of synesthesia. Uh, I suppose. I only know that because that's just what, one of the best things about doing drugs. You get to unlock all the parts of your mind and you get to do all those cool things and see things that you couldn't see before. But they're there. But now you can't see. But you take the drugs and you can't see. Yes, of course. So, all right, thanks. Like, I think we should. I, I'm, I'm getting pretty tired. I need to recharge my uh, batteries, but I might be back to drugs in the morning. Oh boy, I'll get them all out and prepare, <laughs> and we'll have a big feast of drugs. And I'll let you know all the different drugs that we have, and all the different things you can expect when you're on the drugs, and all the things that you need to watch out for for when the drugs wear off, which are not always fun, but still, it's just it's so good. Uh, it's very considerate of you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want anybody to have a bad trip. We'll see you in the morning, Lulu. Some 
sometimes you do want a bad trip, though, because sometimes you're just in one of those moods where you just don't really want to be yourself, and you actually want to kind of hurt yourself, and then things, like, you know, might not be good when they happen, but they happen. Uh, perhaps you should seek other assistance. <laughs> like what? Uh, just talking to other people. How often do you leave here? I'm talking to you. How often do you leave here? Ah, uh, people don't really like me being around. Uh, have you considered talking about something besides drugs? I understand oh, they're very exciting to you. But people, they, I mean, I'm not really welcome anywhere else, but people do come to me and they see me for my drugs and they want to get the drugs. And then we do the drug together sometimes when I'm really lucky. And they, they sometimes even give me a tip. How, when was the last time someone came here to do drugs with you? Yesterday. Who was that? A person. Uh huh. He does not. He does clearly he does not uh, divulge his door. His... Yeah, he's not a narc. Yeah, he's no yeah. snitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I I do not need to know who then. Uh, I, really I just see... don't remember because they didn't tell me their name. They just said, "Hey, I want to do some drugs," and I was like, "Yes." I still recommend speaking to a professional. I am a professional. I uh, make the drugs. Not a, not a drug professional. Sometimes I make it with demon ichor, but you gotta be careful with that because it made my eyes melt out my face. See, because I don't have any eyes. Yes, you have mentioned. Did I? I didn't know if I did. So Lulu. Yeah. yeah. Power things. Oh, things are pretty cool. I mean, I'm talking to you guys. You guys are my best buds. It's, Is it uh, just because we are here that you are that we are your best buds? Yes. And you're talking you, to me. You should really leave the store more often. Well, they said people don't like me being around so much. Try speaking about other things besides drugs. But what else did you have to talk about? Well, I suppose I could talk about the way that I took the demon and it made my eyes melt out my head. You and could... besides that. You could talk about uh, the weather. You could talk about uh, Wilfred. Weather is hot. That's it. What did you do before the drugs? What do you mean before? Mm -hmm. Before the before the demon icker melted out your eyeballs. Oh, that was so long ago. I don't remember. Try and remember. I tell you what, think here, try and remember, and I will be back tomorrow, and you can talk about it. Will you do some drugs? We will talk about what you did before the drugs and the eyeball situation. Whoa. Oh, it would be better if we did drugs together. But okay, if you, as long as you come back and talk to me, I would love that. And then I, you, I will you, not talk to you unless you properly think. About what I told you. Well, I'll try. But, you know, I kind of get distracted. And, try and, and try there, your best. There are lots of things that I still have to do. Like, I have to make the different kinds of drugs. I have to put them in the bottles. I got to gotta make my uh, deliveries with the demon icker. And I need to, you know, have some demon icker. And... Who, who orders the demon icker? All kinds of people. They do all kinds of things with it. The demon ichor, it, it's a very versatile substance that has lots of uses for medicinal purposes, for drug related purposes, for poisons, and all kinds of other things. Do Does anybody here uh, at this wandering emporium order this uh, demon ichor? Yeah, sometimes. And sometimes people have it delivered by Fatala. Sure. Fatala. Yeah. I I I um, <laughs> must ask. Uh, who here orders the steam and egger? I don't know. Look at the time, Takash. Let us go. I think it's getting late. Lulu obviously needs to rest. I do. Yeah, I, you take I, I guess it is past my time to take some drugs. Take it. Yep. Take. Yep. You want to do some drugs with me? 
uh, tomorrow. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. What was my task? What did I? What was the homework I gave you? Oh, he's working on it. Don't worry. <laughs> if you want me to return here, you must. He'll think be on back. It. Oh no! I I think what what was it? What what was it? What it is? Uh, hey, two drugs. Right? No, I'm gonna have you write this down now. Okay. Oh, I don't know how to write. Can you read? <laughs> yep. Can you <laughs> see if I re- wrote it down? Mostly. Okay. <laughs> I'll write big letters for him. <laughs> Try to remember before losing your eyes. Oh, that was a long time ago. I don't know what happened there, but I guess I could think about it. I'll give you That's a little thought. But, 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 you know, the, sometimes the, the things that I do kind of get in the way of me thinking about what I got to think about and then I got to do some other things and then I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Well, then perhaps you shouldn't do those other things. Why? How are you going to remember? I cannot return unless you think on that. Remember what? Read the paper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You are wasting your time, Takosh. I, I must try. I am going to go to Seven Gold Fields. <laughs> I will be there when you are ready. <laughs> and Blade is like, we will do drugs in the morning. Yeah. And he walks out. I love that guy. He gets me so good. Yeah, I'll leave. It's fine. <laughs> bye bye, everyone. As I'm leaving, I say, How much drugs can I get for 10 gold? Oh, I can get you some good stuff. Okay. I'll be, get me what you can for tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, I'll go through all of the different options and all of the different variations that we can make. And then also we can talk about what the specific effects we want, like what kind of high, what kind of body sensation, what kind of altered reality you want to experience. Other things can come in the discussion. Sounds good. I'll see you tomorrow. I catch up with them going to the uh, golden seals. Does it ever occur to you that Lulu might sound completely normal when she's on drugs and you're on drugs too? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I don't know if these things would affect me very much. Um, But it is possible. But it would be it would be entertaining to see if Lulu is becomes tolerable. I have no intention of taking these. I (laughs) I have other plans for him. All right, so you guys make it to the Seven Golden Seals. We'll stroll up to the front desk. Um, pretty sure, Ar- like we left Ar- we left Arkin. Uh, Arkin Prop- propping open the door. Yeah, he so he's still there keeping guard. Mm-hmm. Um, stroll up to the front desk. We'd like to uh, get a room. Uh, actually, first, has has Master Hawkins returned yet? No, not yet. Have you heard back from him? No, it's it's a bit strange that we we normally would have heard from him by now. Does he need saving? I doubt it. Master Hawkins is quite powerful. Um, it's more likely that he's just indisposed and has something else going on that is requiring his full attention. Do you have any method for scrying upon him? Oh, you can't scry upon him. 
Sure. No, I mean, literally, it, it doesn't work. No, I understand. This is not a unique power. I can grant this to people. Okay. Up do uh well we'd like to get we'd like to get some rooms. Oh, okay. Yeah, it will just be a soul point per person per night. Is Lux there? Um yeah, sure, I'll stay there tonight. So he'll produce uh blade will produce uh, out of the coin sack five five soul coins. Um, do we have, do we have, to, do we have to pay for the, the beakless bird? Oh, yeah, and that, that bird has definitely been following you around, Lux. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like a, it's under two, right? So it's free? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the, the bird counts as carry-on. So yeah, it's five soul coins. Uh, it's just assuming that the branded one is with us. Yeah, I would assume as much. Five? I thought it would be four. I thought it was one per person. Four, the, right? The branded one. The branded one. Oh yeah, shit. Oh, Forgot and I... and Trebek. Trebek is with you guys. That's true. <clears throat> well, they, do they have single beds? Can't like double up in this place. <laughs> no. Okay. I guess so. Six. So yeah, you, you know, he wouldn't. After all that Trebek has been through, I mean, wouldn't tell him just to go sleep in the car. <laughs> <laughs> while we get the nice, hey, while we get hey, the nice yeah. place. Go keep it running for us. <laughs> if we need to make a quick escape. <laughs> It'll be nice to Trebek. All right, so you guys are shown to your rooms. Uh, you're also informed about the meal options that come with the the night stay. Uh, so you do all get the effects of a hero's feast. Was that one or two d10 for the hit points? Um. I mean, if we're still going to be here for several days, I don't expect to necessarily need these hit points. <laughs> so. uh, considering what's happened already. Yeah, it's uh, 2d10. A rough road to cash. Um. All right. So, is there? Uh, does uh does uh does that also affect uh Pantom, Heroes Feast, or no? Yeah. Okay. Uh, same or several separately? Uh, roll separate. Right. <laughs> so, um. As as a reminder, the you know there are a spa services available, so there is a menu for that. Um, those are uh, all at an extra cost, usually in soul coins. Um, so I don't anticipate anybody using that, but it is there in case anybody does. Um, are you guys wanting to? Uh, have separate rooms or are you wanting to stay in a, a, a common room with each of you having your own bed? Um, I would recommend the common. Yes, yeah, sir, sir. What I was thinking too. OK. 
Okay, is there any of you that would not want to sleep separate from everybody else? So, is there anything else I get with Heroes Feast besides the 2D ton? Uh, I, was trying to I was trying to find it in our, the rules. Yeah, so... Or it, advantage, on, advantage on wisdom saves. Cannot be frightened or poisoned. You're cured of all disease and poison. You become immune to poison and being frightened. And make all wisdom saving throws with advantage what, for 24 hours. What, uh, what's that under? In the, the rules? It's a spell. It's a spell. Oh, it's a spell. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, um, anything else that you guys are wanting to do before you take your heroes faced and long rest? Not particularly. Blade was mostly looking forward to the feast. <laughs> the feast of <laughs> feast of Greece. Yeah, just because he doesn't actually eat anything, so but just the the ambiance of it. <laughs> like somebody not capable of eating human food, but just wanting to like blend in, so just like pretend chewing. This is what do you have? Do you have an articulating jaw? Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that how you talk, or you just like? Does your mouth just open and then sound comes out, or does it like look like you're talking? This is a speaker. <laughs> <laughs> I, this, I I don't know if this has ever been discussed, but uh, it, no, I'm it curious. Hasn't. <laughs> yeah, no, I've always imagined that like he does his jaw moves like he's talking. <clears throat> um. And that he would have like speakers or some sort of something on the back of his throat. Because he, he was a diplomat, uh, like and sent on diplomatic missions. So like he would he would be constructed in such a way to try to not be too uh you know, to kind of blend in. Uh, so he doesn't have like a like fake teeth and a, a tongue that flaps around in there. No, no. <laughs> a fleshy flap that just pretends to be a tongue. <laughs> it's it's funny that that might be that could be like a yeah that could be I could see some Warforge wanting that like giving like these taboo implants. <laughs> right so, <laughs> trying to become human uh-huh <laughs> or or just organic just trying yeah, to become okay. organic yeah <laughs> uh i i will have my uh i stay with lux Lux, just to keep an eye on her. I got two friends. Yeah. Hi. You can hang out with Pantone too if you like. <laughs> hey, can you watch all our pets? <laughs> <laughs> now all he needs Walla Walla. <laughs> he would fucking run away. <laughs> Um. All right. So, do you guys do anything before you take your long rest? Nope, I'm good. Nope. Okay. Um, A bath. So, uh, there's definitely amenities in the rooms that include like areas to bathe and and all of that. Um some some comforts that you guys have not experienced in quite a while although perhaps Takash has experienced them more recently than everybody else um I wouldn't count on it <laughs> fair enough <laughs> um my, my travels I just kind of go I just kind of walk <laughs> so uh I think that that's a good place to end for the night uh so we'll pick up next time the next day uh, I will say that uh, Master Hawkins has returned, so you guys will be able to have a conversation with him. Um, 
So yeah. Would people oh. see about the session tonight? <laughs>